Hey everybody, I'm Tim and today we're headed out on a chocolate expedition. You're watching Cigars Daily. I want to invite you to get even more out of all of our videos now when you watch them on CigarsDailyPlus.com where we're always working to make it better on Cigars Daily Plus. There are few pursuits in life that are as valuable as the quest for amazing flavor. And whether you are like smoke fine meats, or maybe you make ice cream at home with your kids, or you have a more refined palate and you want to sip fancy wines, it's great. All of that stuff is good because anything that can help you appreciate life a little bit more is definitely worth doing. And cigars are one of those things that sort of provides incredible depth and width of flavor. It's something that amazes me about this craft that's just rolled up leaves. That's all premium cigars are, but you still get such a huge variety of flavor notes. It's amazing what the soil and the seed will contribute to the final product. And in the cigar world, I get to talk to people about this all the time, because certainly if you're getting into this, you'll eventually start thinking about refining your palate to be able to pick up more flavor notes and determine what you like, or even get a little bit more out of the flavor from time to time. So so today I wanted to take you through five amazing cigars that exhibit one flavor note extremely well, and that is chocolate. That is a huge flavor note that I find, especially in darker, medium, medium plus to full bodied cigars that a lot of people really enjoy. And we even get calls at the shop here. Hey, can you recommend some really good chocolate note, non-flavored cigars? So here is a top five for me of cigars that have these notes. But before we jump in, I'll tell you, this is not an exhaustive list. I've talked about lots of cigars in my reviews that have incredible like chocolate features to the flavor profile. But I'll ask you, drop a comment down below. What are the cigars you've smoked that you're like, yeah, this has got a chocolate note in it that's really strong and really solid. And if you guys are looking for more recommendations, check the comments because the people in the Cigars Daily Nation are really great. And so with no further ado, let's jump into some chocolate. In this video, I'm also pairing my chocolate forward cigar blends with a beer from Oso Brewery because I just thought it would be a good time for a pairing. This one here is called Ales from the Crypt Morning Grind, and it's supposed to be like a coffee beer, but it actually tastes like vanilla bourbon, and I love the hell out of it. Let's jump in with cigar number one now. Ah, yes, the marriage of amazing flavor. It's one of my favorite things about the cigar world. And certainly I picked this darker beer today for some cigars that I know have more chocolatey notes in them. And the first one is the Oliva Siri V. And this is a cigar you might expect to appear on a top list from me. It certainly is the most popular cigar in Oliva's catalog, but also a cigar with an incredibly unique flavor profile. First off, this blend shatters the notion that you can judge a cigar's strength by the darkness of the wrapper leaf. There's this whole idea that runs through the cigar world where if, if like a stick has got a lighter wrapper leaf, it'll be more mellow or mild and a really nice dark obsidian wrapper leaf will always be full bodied, but that's not always the way it goes. There are times when your like lighter colored wrappers are definitely gonna be medium or medium plus, And maybe those dark wrappers aren't as full bodied. Certainly that's the case with the V. This thing uses a Habano sun grown wrapper and it's a pretty medium bodied flavor profile for something so dark. The thing I love about this is a flavor profile that comes out with chocolate in it and certainly chocolate forward along with a little bit of leather, a nice sweetness from the wrapper as well. And that's another great thing about cigars with chocolate notes. All five of these sticks today will have some sort of difference in the flavor profile that sets them all apart even from each other. But when it comes to the Oliva Series V, this is a stick that I always think about with chocolatey flavor notes, especially because it has a really nice and incredibly rich sweetness from the wrapper. And with stick number two on today's list, we've got one that'll be pretty easily recognizable to a lot of you, especially if you're a giant cigar nerd. And that's Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust's Mi Querida. This cigar uses a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, which didn't used to be like a wrapper leaf that anybody used. It was really only seen as suitable for like binder or filler leaf, but the very daring blunders of our day have turned it into the most coveted, sought after wrapper leaf there is. And on the Mi Querida blend, 
end, it produces this really nice, very rich, fuller bodied profile with incredible dark chocolate notes and some really nice pepper along with cocoa in that flavor as well. Here at Light Up, you're gonna get like a mouthful of that really incredibly rich chocolate flavor, one that pairs particularly well with a really nice dark stout. And now coming through the halfway point at the middle of this list, stick number three is the American Viking Cigars Box Press Rebellion. This thing uses a dark Nicaraguan Habano wrapper to produce a really amazing fuller bodied flavor profile that was nothing like what Jim and I were looking for when we did the blending on this cigar. When we launched American Viking, we wanted the Dama Velada to be our most full bodied kick you in the teeth blend. But when we actually hit the blending room, this was the one that really knocked our socks off and it was the one we blended to be the Box Press Rebellion. Smoke these today and you're gonna get really impressive notes of first of all, dark chocolate, also a little bit of grass and hay with some coffee in there and really nice sweetness from the wrapper. But overall, it's a really well filled out profile with a lot going on. And if consistency and complexity counts for anything, this one will definitely win with your palate. And now cruising into the number four spot on this list is Drew Estate's Undercrown Maduro. This thing is the original Undercrown, the very first one they did before they had the Sun Grown and the Shade and the Shady XX and the Dogma, the Sun Grown Dogma, and now the 10 years gonna be coming out. This thing has got its own whole catalog now, but originally just the Undercrown Maduro was the first one. And this thing puts out really nice medium plus to full bodied flavor, a really robust profile with nice chocolate in there and a chocolate forward flavor that's matched by really nice coffee notes and over all of that sweetness in this as well and for me I talk about that sweetness because it's such an important ingredient in a flavor profile like when you're looking at notes like coffee and chocolate those are great notes but when there's some natural sweetness in the mix with them it gives those notes a more vibrant and natural taste at least it does to me but if you're looking for a cigar that's really good on chocolate flavor Flavor, the Undercrown will never let you down. And now cruising into stick number five is Alec Bradley's Magic Toast. This is a cigar I've actually reviewed on the channel and it didn't give me a tremendous amount of chocolate when I first tried it. But since then I've gone back and tried it again and again and I don't know if the blend's changing or my palate's changing or what, but this thing seems to give me more and more chocolate along with some really nice coffee, earth, and just a hint of spice. A very dynamic profile that gives you more than a couple different things to try and taste. That's one thing I absolutely love. The story behind this stick is that Alan Rubin went to a field of amazing tobacco and had a toast in the dark of the night to this amazing crop and that's apparently what you're smoking here. What I know about this cigar is that the flavor is explosive and if you want a nice look at a really beautiful like chocolate flavor note, you're gonna find it in this stick. And like I said, these are not all the chocolate cigars with chocolate flavor notes in them. There's even ones running through my head as I'm making this video that I currently feel frustrated and angry that I didn't include in this video. So I'm counting on you to put in the comments down below the best cigars with really nice chocolate flavor notes that are not flavored or infused. And I wanna thank all of you who support Cigars Daily. It means the world to us here. Check out this video on CigarsDailyPlus.com where you'll find that we're working to make it better on Cigars Daily Plus all the time. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Tim signing off for Cigars Daily and I will see you in the comments.